they want the main purpose of the passage, so let's just dive right into the passage. Okay, so it's adapted from this story. Uh, the narrator's wife have recently moved to the southern United States, and Julius is their carriage driver. Okay. Julius was very useful when we moved to our new residence. Okay, that sounds positive. He had a thorough knowledge, positive, of the neighborhood, was familiar with the roads and water courses. Uh, so thorough knowledge, familiar, those that are similar. He knew the qualities of the various soils and what they would produce and where the best hunting and fishing were to be had. He was a marvelous hand in the management of the horses and dogs. So my dumb summary here is that this is something positive. That's going to be the main purpose. So let's look at choice A. Uh, it is to compare the narrator's reaction to a new home with his wife's reaction. Well, no, it, it's, it's not about, it's really not about the narrator or the wife. It's, it's about Julius, the carriage driver. So to me, this might be a main character issue where they're switching the person. It's also not a comparison. So there's a bunch of different things here. This is all positive. So no real comparison here. Uh, to give an example of Julius's knowledge about soil, well, they, they, they talk about the knowledge of the soils, but do they actually give an example? Do they, do they say anything about a particular soil? No. So this is a good example where it's like, um, sometimes we call these big to small traps, but in this case, usually the way it, it, it well, in this case, what's basically happening is there, the choice is a small example, but the passage is a bigger kind of general statement about it. So usually it's flipped, but this is, you know, same thing as it's kind of like the, 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 the point they're making is not that specific. Uh, C, to show that the narrator and Julius often hunt and fish together, so often stands out to me. That's a time word. I don't think that they say that this happens often, right? They're new to this place, so how would it really happen often? Let's look at, look at D, though, to explain different ways in which Julius was helpful, right? So helpful is positive. Are there different ways? Yeah, he's helpful with his knowledge of the neighborhood, knowledge of the roads and the water courses, right? So those are all different ways, so that's an easy answer. And notice if we just thought about positive, that's that's kind of it, right? That's a generally positive choice. It's nonspecific, and it ends up being the right answer because of that. So this is why dumb summaries don't need to be really complicated. Sometimes just the connotation of what you're reading is enough to understand it, to, to be able to sort through the choices, but also think about those trap answers. That can help you too when you're stuck between two. Certain words kind of clue you in to what might be wrong with the, the one of the answers.